What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, and last time we checked in, we did the Lanayru Mining Facility, and Zelda got away uh, from Girahim. So, I'm gonna go back up to the sky, probably uh, probably collect some more treasure, and then return to, the, to Skyloft to kind of regather everything. And uh, let's go, let's have some fun. I wanna thank you for over 7,000 likes on the first episode, causing that one to have over 250,000 views. I do appreciate it. Let's go and look at the map. Uh, whoa, there we go. Uh, what do we wanna do? Where's the map? Which one's the map? This is not the map. This one's the map. Lots of things to do, honestly, like lots of little things. Uh, this guy's over here. There's a couple of places here. Go, go, dude, go, what the heck? Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. Sailcloth right on the edge there. And then this is a treasure for me. Let's see what it's gonna be. Okay, I got a small seed satchel. Okay, 10 extra seeds. But my pouch was full. Was it saying my pouch was full? I kinda skipped past it a little too quickly. Uh, let's, let's go down here. Hang down, I wanna see. There's another, this one isn't lit up yet though. So, unfortunately. Oh, I, I was gonna call. Okay, whatever. Fortunately, I was gonna. There's another one there, too. Wow, okay. Well, we got one of however many there's eventually gonna be. Oh, great, it's up at the top. Made it. I made it. Let's get this. What is it? Oh, it's a heart piece, okay. A piece of heart. Just one more and I'll increase my capacity. So that's pretty good. There looks to be more things here in the future, maybe. What does this say? Out of work for the day, those who have, okay, so it's Beetle. This, I guess this is where Beetle hangs out. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so let's go, uh, where to next? There, I marked the one over here. Yeah. So this one's gonna be so hard to get to. I'm still hoping for rupees, honestly. But we'll see. I'm kind of dive bombing here. Whoa, that guy just passed me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who's that? Oh, geez, go up, go up, go up. Perfect. Uh, there it is, just hanging out in here. Then we'll return to Skyloft. Yes, silver rupee worth 100 rupees. That's great. Okay, uh, what's up? You call for me, master advice. Objective, what's my objective? I don't remember. Based on what the unidentified person with Zelda in the Temple of Time said, speaking with the old woman in the sealed grounds may aid your search. Current session, yeah, okay, great. So I'm gonna go to Skyloft first, then go to the sealed grounds and speak with the woman. All right, in the bazaar, they look pretty happy. He looks pretty happy. Uh, what is up? Hey, welcome to Diamond Check. you again. You've been coming by a lot recently. You're pretty much the only one who comes by regularly, actually. Hey, wait a second. I don't suppose. You don't come here just to see me, do you? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, right. Well, of course, that wouldn't even make sense, right? Oh, it's no big deal that you don't. Not at all. Oh, I almost forgot I still have a job to do. Uh, yeah. Yes, let's please. I mean, is there... All right, let's see it. So, wait. So, I have this, which is interesting. Small seed satchel. I have a small seed satchel there. I don't really understand. So the tin is up there now. Now this is, I don't get it, I don't get it. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Got an iron shield, small bomb bag, iron shield. Let's back up for a second. Let's go uh, over to this guy. I don't even know what there is to buy for me that, that would make sense right now. Maybe I am truly just supposed to move on. But let me talk to this guy. The scrap shop. Let's upgrade my gear. Let's fix my shield. Let's upgrade my gear first. Let's upgrade my gear. So the items you have that I can upgrade right now. So let's see about this. Uh, what, what can this thing do? Speed. I can do the speed, but I don't have everything. 
Alright. What about the slingshot? I can do this, but I don't have everything. The net. I don't have everything. Shield. Don't have everything. What is this? Bomb bag. I can don't have any... Man, I don't have anything to upgrade. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe just not time to upgrade. Maybe I'm come here and there's just not like a good... Let's, let's leave. Let's go talk to Beetle. I don't know where Beetle's going to be. Let's, there's several entrances and exits here. All for such a pretty small place. It must be very well ventilated. That's Beetle over there. Uh, so... There we go. Maybe he'll have something for me. How do I... There we go. We're going to make it over there to the sealed grounds, probably, this episode, then. Let's go see uh, if he has anything for me immediately. So, we have a heart piece. We have another item pouch. There isn't a ton here. What is this? Bug metal. As long as you can that, you'll be able to see on the map where bugs can be found. 1,000 rupees. Think it's worth it? I think so. Alright. Oh, my pouch is full. Great, okay. Well, I spent all my money on that. So, let's go. I just need to spend my money on something, because it's about to be full again. Uh, this is where I would need to go to the item check bin and get my... I guess, I guess maybe I should have bought a pouch instead. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Maybe I would rather have that than the seed satchel. I don't know. I don't use the slingshot that often. Let's go. Let's go get this bug metal here. So, uh, this one is the treasure metal. Yeah, I think I'd rather replace a small seed satchel, honestly. This guy can fix my shield, though, right? That would be a that would be a help if I, if he could do that without. How much how much do you think it'll be? I might not have a much much. Let's see. Yes, that one, that one, please. Oh, ten rupees, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Now we can go to the sealed grounds. Talk to the lady there. Skip. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so with only 81 left, I'm, I don't really need anything there. So let's head out. I think I'm doing pretty good. Let's find a way to escape. Right here. Here we go. And then which one is the sealed grounds? <laughs> uh, is it this one? Elden Volcano. This one's Iron Farron Woods. It's the Farron Woods, right? I think so. Let's go. There is no real fast travel here, so. I even have the bird amiibo, but I mean, it just seems like I would never actually use it. This is the place, right? Here I am falling. It's a cutscene, though. Gru no, Bruce. That's Bruce, right? Whoa. Link, help. <laughs> All right. Where'd he come from? Ugh, rough landing. <laughs> I think I might have broke something. Hey, Link, seriously, did anyone anyone ever teach you how to land without crash? Oh, he sees the birds. Whoa! But birds, tiny. But what are they? Here we are, that guy again. And what is that thing? He's freaked out. But how? Why? What? 
Where am I? He hasn't been here. He hasn't been to the land yet. What's going on here? Ever since Zelda vanished, you've been zipping in and out of town all in a hurry. So I figured I'd tell you and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what's with all these trees? There are so many. Just give it to me straight. I can take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? If there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? It's something, buddy. Tap, tap. And I I gesture to explain. This is Hyrulean sign language. So. He can take it, can he? The birds are back. Uh huh. Whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now but I think I get what you're saying if I got this right Zelda is down here somewhere and she's okay she she she's okay oh wow that's so great Duh. hearing that is such a huge weight off my mind You know, Link, it's sort of all right down here. This place needs a name. <laughs> it has a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. From now on, we'll call it Grooseland. <laughs> no. No, we're not. We're not going to do that. It would be funny if it changed it on the map. So let me see if I got this right. This old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is? I see, right, Link. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. <laughs> Big Groose will handle the search for Zelda from here. It'll also be funny if it made me start playing as Groose. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. <laughs> then when we get back, I'll ask her if she wants to make our whole going out thing official. And then the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is, your work here is done. I've got it covered from here. Now, it's off to find that old lady you were talking about. You probably went the wrong way or something. Catch you later, Link. Well, maybe you went the right way. So we are at the sealed grounds. What a good time to save. Let's go ahead and save it really quick. Behind, we're behind the temple. So we landed in a good spot. Saving in progress. All right. Oh, hey. What's up, dude? Hey. Oh, hey, bud. We meet again in a hurry as usual, huh? Yep, I've been keeping busy too, checking out the wonders of the world. Say, say, you want to hear something about my research? Sure. Okay, but prepare to be amazed. I made a huge discovery while I was out doing my field research. So get a load of this. Apparently, there are walls and statues that respond to beautiful tones. Wild, right? You want to know more? Of course. Mm -hmm. All right. This is kind of archeo archaeological enthusiasm I like to see. Oh. But before we get into the fascinating details of walls and statues, there is something I had better ask you about, bud. You ever heard of a blessed butterfly? I don't know. No, I don't think I have. Oh, right. So a blessed butterfly is this kind of pretty blue butterfly. You might not believe it, but they are, su they are super hardy. They live in all kinds of places you would never expect. Even in a land like this, you will see plenty of them. So maybe mm -hmm. I have seen them. Ancient tomes mention these butterflies flapping around in packs by certain walls and statues. Seems like these butterflies have some kind of sixth sense. They are detecting something. You want to hear more? Please. Which are you interested in? Statues. Hey. The writings claim that the statues appear out of nowhere with a boy yoing sound and speak a strange language. Can you believe it, buddy? Talking statues. I know you want to hear more about this. Ooh. That is the spirit, but sadly, that is as far as my research has gotten me. As soon as I make any new discoveries, you will be the first to know. All right, but what about what about the walls? Mm -hmm. uh, butterflies, yeah, walls and statues. Please, tell me. I want to hear about the walls, though. Walls. There we go. Hey. From what I have learned, it sounds like these walls were left behind by the goddess for the hero mentioned in Legends. The things the hero desires are said to spring forth from behind the walls. This is why they, they call them goddess walls, I suppose. Hungry to hear more? Of course. Ooh. That is the spirit, but sadly, that's, he doesn't know. <laughs> but sadly, he doesn't know. Uh, so, uh, that's all exciting news. Let me uh, go ahead and get my net out. Uh, because there are some bugs up in here. How do I... 
They're too high. Come down. Hmm. What are these? Put it down, put it down. Where does this go? Here we go. No, this, there we go. I don't know, do I need to sneak up on it or what's the deal? Come on. No, I totally got it, dude, come on. Uh, dude, come back, where did he go? Dang it, is he just gone? No, there, there's, no, those are birds. I don't think I can catch birds. All right, um, try again. Dick. Other one. Dang, I missed it. Okay, so. Maybe I'll try to be slower, I don't know. These things are so, dang it, come on, dude. Stop, oh my god, how do we catch these? I'm walking like as slow as I can. You joking, kidding me? All right, I'm ready, I'm ready for this, here we go. Walking slow. Got it. Freaking got it. A feral grasshopper. Reproduce in massive numbers once every 10 years, eating every plant in sight. That's my first one of those. Great news. How do you get those bugs off the wall up there? I don't even know. Uh, so wait, where am I? Have I been here before? I've been here before. So we want to go to where? Sealed grounds, is that the seal, is it behind the, this is behind the temple. This is an insect, this is an insect over there. So on the map now it shows insects, which is pretty darn cool. This is not the way to go though, we wanted to go the opposite way. Uh, there is an insect over here. Yeah, there he is on the wall. But the wall, I mean, that's like too high, right? Here. That's just too high. I don't know how to get that one. Oh, wait, what if I, uh. He flew away. Never mind. Alright, let's go up here. Let's get out of here. Oh, I got like five rupees. You better believe it. Let's see what's up. Is this, what is this? This isn't the way to go, is it? It's, I need to go, this is, what is this? This is, excuse me. Oh my God. Bird statue, no, no, I need to go. I need to go this way, probably. Let's see what the deal is. Okay, so we're going, uh, yeah, we're going up over here, I think. So I think he went the wrong way, right? I think I go this way. Let's see. I don't know if she lives over here or what. Does she live over here? There's like a house, is that it? Okay, here we go, let me grab, take this. He got me. No! There's two of them, come on. Oh my gosh. I got one. Turn towards them, oh my god. Okay, here we go. Dead. Man, that was annoying. Is, is this it down here? Let me grab these hearts. I really don't know where I'm, where I'm going. There's an old lady. I don't remember where the old lady is. Is this it at all? Yeah, Groose is here, so this has got to be it. Huh? You gotta be kidding me, Granny. What's these? You're messing with me. Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit maiden, your Zelda, can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so, save us. 
as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know that if anyone's going to save Zelda, it's Groos. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would, it, why would I even be here if I'm not up to the job of being the hero? Just who is? No. Huh? Yeah, I'm here. I'm the hero. Send out a welcoming party. Oh, now I get ya. Link, Granny here has been trying to tell me you're gonna be the big hero who rescues Zelda. <laughs> what a joke. Look, <laughs> look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, but that's a load of garbage. I know you, and you're no hero, shrimp. I saved you, Bruce. Wah! <laughs> He's freaking out. He's out of here, though. Greetings, Link. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, was she? The one you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She is being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task Destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they used, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Link, have you attempted to play the harp that you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well and do as I say. First, press X to ready your harp. Got it. Strum. Close, but you must... Okay, wait. Oh, I'm moving it with the braid. Good, you learn fast. Now for your next lesson. Focus and play in time with the pulsing of the circle of light. When your timing is right, I shall join my voice to your harp. Listen well, for the song I sing will be a great help to you in your journey. <laughs> no. There we go. Man, Link has got a real talent for this. I don't think I could ever learn an instrument this quickly. He's jamming out, dude. He should form a band. I guess they have a band going on. Need more members. What can Bruce do? Maybe play drums? You learn the Ballad of the Goddess. It's a mysterious melody that has been passed down from ancient times. That was awesome. I was quite happy with that. And what is this? All right. The harp you hold is known as the Goddess's Harp. It is a divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing before you is known as the Gate of Time. A Gate of Time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda, but you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant state. Though your journey will put you in harm's way, Link, you must endure. It is your fate as the chosen hero of the god- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would react to your, sum your summoning the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Link, there will be time to explain later. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. Oh, I gotta fight this thing, huh? This is gonna make me fight this thing. All right, let me uh, let me go look around really quick. I uh, I'll be ready in a second. I just want to see like if I can get like one heart or anything. Honestly, the fa I already have a fairy. Well, they I guess I can get another fairy. Give me give me the fairy. And you know I could also look for uh, <laughs> I could just look for uh, rupees as well. Uh, why oh jeez, it's a grasshopper. Why not? Here we go. 
me see if I can catch that dang grasshopper while I know something much more important is happening, but... Here we go, just quiet! No, I had you! Got him! Alright. And, uh... Don't mind me, but I'm just gonna go look for some more. Yeah, rupees! Bombs, yeah, fill me up. Okay, so... <laughs> now duty calls. Let's go and see what's out here. Maybe Groose can help me, right? I doubt he will. It's the imprisoned, right? I remember this guy. I must go down to the bottom. Oh, something's... Something is startling. Uh, Groose is cowering. Whoa, what's with all the shaking? The whole ground is heaving. I thought I was supposed to be solid. It was supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Link. Check out the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about these tremors. That monster can free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Right. Here we go. Caution. <laughs> this, is, this is me doing. This is me being cautious. Go. Yes. Okay. What do we gotta do? This is gonna be hard, isn't it? Blackness seeps out. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. The imprisoned. All right, I gotta hit his toes. I remember that much. I knew it. The seal has given way. I'll explain later. But now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping that pit. It must not reach the temple. All right, so. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm out of. I'm out of stamina. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Okay, it's okay. Don't forget the backs. He's got little toes on the backs, too. And one over here. Okay, let's wait for him to stomp down. Uh oh. I have got stamina. <laughs> Oof. Now I hit the horn on its head, right? I gotta run over here and get that horn on its head. Excuse me. Nope, from the from the bottom. From the bottom to the top. <laughs> Alright. Uh now nah, I don't oh yeah, this is where he goes fast. Dude, are you kidding me? What do I do? Oh, okay, he's fine. Is he gonna regrow his toes? He's gonna push that thing out. Yeah, he regrew his little toesies. I'll get the back ones first. Then he's gonna stomp down, right? All right, he got, he got that one. Ah, oh, I'm out of stamina. I gotta back up, I gotta back up. He's right on the edge. Going down, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go. Is it three times a charm? So one more round of that. This part of spooks me, man. He's just going. He's just going. Oh, brother. Uh, what do I do here? Here, here, lift me up. Hey, bud. Oh boy, oh boy. What? How do I stop him? He stopped. I'm doing everything in my power to stop him from 
you know, making it up here, but I mean, it's it's a rough rough gamble here. Here we go. Oh, dang, got me. Dang, dude, really? Wait, I'll just one more toe over here. Hit it. Got it. We've got some toes over here. Got him down again for the count again. Okay, let's uh let's I'm gonna go this way. This way looks a little bit safer. And then his little spike is right here. That's three. Come on, tell me that's enough. You're in prison, go back to your prison. What's he gonna do? He looks quite vicious. All right. Nice. Gross. His scales all over the place. Send him back in. Someone should really, really put a better cork in that. <laughs> so, what do I do? Do I go back down there? Do I? Mm. Now, Link. Strike the ceiling spike with the skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. Here I go. Quickly as I can. Whoa. All right, Skyward, strike this. Lift my sword up high. Higher. Just a little bit higher. There we go, thank you. Got it. I'm, I'm doing my best. And that's the upside down triangle. Boom. I need that Goron dude to come over here with a giant hammer and really get it in there. Otherwise, this guy's coming back. All right, Groose is here. Oh. Nice going, Link. Oh, it says the old one. What am I looking at? Mm -hmm. Though the imprisoned, <laughs> she walked all the way here. Though the imprisoned had only just begun to awaken and break its bonds, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only needed, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat back into the confinement is a horror of unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave way again soon. So, <laughs> that's a tall hat. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task with which you have been entrusted. Return to the sealed temple, Link. There is much to discuss. Alright, I'll be there soon. You'll be there later. <laughs> I, mean, I can take my time, it looks like. Yeah, Groose, get a load of that. <laughs> He's just an insecure bully. Right, we made it here <laughs> six hours later. As you can see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of cold stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it from its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of holy light from your Skyward Strike might just do it. Everything is solved with the Skyward Strike in this game. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you and your sword must grow together. Well, we've been through so much, though. Farron Woods, Elden Volcano, and Laneru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify the sword and their heat. Only after your blade has been tempered by these fires will it be fully imbued with the great power for which you search. 
Can I douse for these? Clues to finding the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of song precious to your people, the ballad of, of the goddess. These clues are your best hope of finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on your island is one with knowledge of this old song will point you in the right direction. Who would know? Zelda would know. She ain't in Skyloft anymore. Groose, do you know? Groose is right behind me. Get out of here. <laughs> He's impressed. I hate I hate even saying this, but I guess you got it all figured out, Granny. Me? Well, there's nothing I can do to help Zelda. I'm useless. That's not necessarily true. You can pray. Ah, you sell yourself short, my friend. You'll see in time that you have your own role to play in this. What will it be? Link, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Zelda's fate. <laughs> Got it. All right. The vases are back. I can break the vases. So let's see what we got. Someone in Skyloft, you said. Let's go see who it could be. Can I use this bird statue to return? Let's uh, let's go. I can use my amiibo if I want to return, I guess. But I mean, like, I just have to go. It's not that far, you know. I just go out, run up some hills, go to another. You know, it's not that far. Plus, Groose is here. Ah, oh, come on. I couldn't do a thing. I'm totally useless. Alright, see ya. <laughs> come on, Groose. Should I go console him? Oh, wait, there's a bug here. Hold on. Get it, dude! You were right freaking... Gosh dang it, dude. What the... Sniff. <laughs> I'm just dead weight. What kind of use is that to anyone? Dang it. I was gonna get those bugs. I blame you, Groose. Where's the... Where's the next... Uh... Where's the statue? Is there a uh, bird? Uh... Come on. What the f Gosh dang, dude. This sealed grounds. Bird statue. Oh, wait. Behind it. Those are also statues, right? How do I get back up here? Uh Is there not Maybe it's up here. Dude, I'm so confused. How do I... What? I literally don't know where to go. Let me try this. It seems like this could be... Is this not what I just did? What? Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, man. How do I get out of here? 
Let's see. This is where we were. How do I get out of here? There's gotta be a way. But, uh, maybe I can go through that door. Maybe I didn't think about it. Why did I, I came out here for Cruz. I mean, I don't know why I came out here, but I came out here. I can't use that bird. Can I go out of here? Can I leave this area? Can I go? There we go. This is another path. Yeah, okay. Cool. There's gotta be a bird statue around here somewhere, right? Yeah, straight ahead. Great. Oh, wait. Is this one of them? Great Goron. I have found some. What do I do? Look, those butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. This has to be the right spot. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tones if the wild animals threaten to roll me down a hill. What can what can we do? Well, first up, I can catch these butterflies. These are going to be super important for me to catch. Okay, well, I got one of them. Two. Where's the other one? <laughs> Three. <laughs> I hope they're not needed for this. And then I have a harp. Where's the harp? Where, where is the harp? No, stop. I have, oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. Where's my harp? There is no harp here. What the heck? How do I, there it is, harp. What? Uh, how, what? <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Do I need like an ocarina? Like, I mean, like what is the deal here? I mean, I just learned how to play a harp. How do I play the harp? Maybe I can't. How do I play the harp? Help. Help. Advi anal analysis, whatever. Advice. Hint. Oh yeah, roll on the wall to get the beetle off. I actually had thought that earlier, but more importantly, how do I play a tune here? Let me save the game really quick. I don't know if I can play the tune here yet. Let me just, uh, excuse me. Of course, save to the file right there. And then, uh, there we go, saved. How do you play the harp? I don't, I don't get how to play the harp. No. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm supposed like have I learned how to play the harp like like on the fly you know what I mean like I just don't get it like is my inventory too full for the harp or what like dude I don't know man can I look at controls Dude, I just, I simply don't know. Do I need the butterflies to actually be here? <laughs> like, was that the mistake I made? Anyway, well, I guess let me know in the comments, like, what I should do about these, uh... Because, I mean, I feel like I need to, I should know how to do it, but I, don't, I do not know how to play the harp. Is it that I have to go do lessons for? I don't even know, man. I haven't figured out how to do the harp. It just doesn't make sense to me right now. I don't know if I need an inventory space. Let's go, let's go to the sky. Like we wanted to. Okay. Let me know in the comments how I play the harp. Or maybe I'll figure it out later. But we're going to Skyloft really quick to see 
who might know what to do about this next phase of my adventure where I have to basically harden my sword, you know, like... I'm not gonna have any... Oh, dang! I almost touched him. Anyway, let's go up. Someone's bound to know, right? Who's gonna know? I honestly don't know who will know. Who's good at harps in this town? Let's ask. Let's ask Fi. 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 All right. Objective. What's up, dude? Who knows? Sacred flames. Uh, may hold a clue. Now something that this course is just trying to learn what you can of the song. Okay, so a search skyloft, and then someone's gonna somehow tell me the song. I, mean, I wonder if I should have gone back to the pumpkin man. I wonder if he would have had a mission for me yet. Now that I've, you know, made a little more progress. Hey, who's gonna know the harp? You know the harp? What's up, dude? I still haven't seen any sign of Kukio, Link. Are you really looking out for her? What, she's safe? Do you not know she's safe? Have you not seen... What? Hey, you know the harp? Oh, I wonder where she's gone. Who? Oh, I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong? Ah, Link, you really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of you. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come home yet. It was getting late for her to still be out, so I went looking for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick thinking about it. No. Hey, Link, would you mind helping me look for her? Yeah, where is she? She said she was curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. I'm counting on you, Link. All right, I'll give it a shot. But I need to learn how to play this. Is it? Uh, anyway, yo, Link, the lyrics to the... The, li the lyrics to a song Zelda was singing? What's a lyric? Is it some kind of bug? I don't get it. I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know why I was asking you. What's up, dude? Do you know anything? I don't know who to talk to. Hey, hey Link, Kukiel's come home. I heard you were the one who found my girl. Thanks a lot. The missus is grinning from ear to ear. All right. Anyone know anything in here? What's up, dude? I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you, it gives even a big guy like me the creeps. Have you explored Skyloft at night? Go buy your treasures. Nap in the bedtime. They, they kind of want me to go to nightfall. So she's cooking. Who is gonna know? Do you know anything? Hi. Who knows anything? You don't know, do you? <laughs> Sacred shields. What's up? New potion, stamina potion, that's okay. All right, I made it back to my place. I'm gonna sleep until the night time to try to figure out this weeping bathroom thing. So let's figure out what that's about. What is this? Oh, I got a gratitude crystal. What, what was it just doing here? I now have six. Okay, I'm back in my room, and I, now I hear something. I, hear, I thought it was in the restroom or something, but I hear something over here. I'm so confused. I thought... I, this is Fledge. Are you making noise? Oh, he's doing workout. Five, six, seven... What's up, dude? Ooh, let me catch my breath. Hey, Link, oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Ah, uh, if only there was a potion that would give me stamina. Then I could drink that and maybe find the last little bit of strength I need. 
Fat chance, right? I suppose I'll have to just put my nose to the grindstone. Yep, just buckle down my bootstraps and all that, right? Anyway, I'll just keep working on this for as long as I can. All on my own, I guess. So, okay, yeah. So, I guess I do... That's one thing I can do. Because they were selling the salmon potion at the shop. Um, so, I, but that's in the... Probably the daytime, right? Let's see if that's in the daytime. I don't really know. Let's go to sleep. How long do you want to sleep? Until morning. So we're kind of we're kind of going all back into this again, man. This is uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, so stamina potion would be nice, of course. Let's. I didn't hear the bathroom sound, so yeah, if you guys have any idea, I didn't go in this guy's. Or maybe he can teach me. I don't know. Let's see if he knows anything. I've been all over this town. I haven't seen him yet. He's not even here. Oh, there he is. He does want to talk to me. You're back, Link. Good to see you're still in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm, hmm I see. My dear Zelda, things must be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Just, just lyrics. <laughs> you just want the lyrics. Oh, what a relief. You really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics must go something like this. Oh, youth. Guided by the servant of the goddess. Oh, oh I skipped it. That's the first part. There's a second verse of the song. Oh, you show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower. And before you a path shall open and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's all. I didn't. What's the first part? The, the light tower mentioned in some of the. It mentioned the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know a thing about the two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower, something will happen. But how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. So, a couple things. I mean, I could, I could do that. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what to do with those because. Those are probably around town, and I have the, the blowing thing, the gust thing. No, that's my room. Ah, oh, dang. I, I didn't want to go in here yet. Over here. All right, so let's see. Let's go see the, uh, the light tower. Where's the light tower? Is it the same as like a lighthouse? Like. I just don't know. Let me go into the bazaar though, because if I if if the stamina potion is relatively cheap, then I can buy it for fledge. So wait. I've been hearing a weird rumor. Apparently after nightfall, people have been hearing a woman sobbing in the dormitory. I tell you it gives an e a big guy like me the creeps. Dude, I don't know what to do about that. I... Well, I, I'd say you found... Okay, what? No. Uh, <laughs> I need stamina potion. Unless it's expensive. Alright, which one's the stamina? Is it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it green? It's ready now, right? Fifty. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, come on. I, I just empty the bottle, man. What, what do I do? Empty. What a waste. Fairies are so good. All right, sure. Make me stamina potion for fifty. I'll just dip it in, contaminating the whole batch. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Let's figure out what I can do about the. Um, what can I do about the, uh, uh... I've seen him. I've seen, like, these these little... I'm pretty sure I've seen him. I just don't know. Yeah, there's there's one. Is that the light tower right there? Anyway, let's take this out. I 
There we go. I'm going to assume that's the light tower, just for now. Yeah, it's lit up, dude. All right, and then there's another one. Over here. What's up? Fledge. Oh, oh yeah, you caught me in the middle of my nightly routine. I want to become strong like you, but I don't seem to make any progress. All right, I'll, I'll come back to you with a stamina potion in a bit. There's another one of those windmills. Are there only two? I missed the first part of this song. I skipped through it accidentally. But maybe this is, I mean, surely this is something, right? What? Where? Okay, hold on. It's, it is on top. I thought it was on top, then I thought it was on bottom. Now it's definitely on top. So let's see. Hey, bud. Oh, no. What's up, Link? So you're curious about that windmill, huh? Pretty smart design, I gotta say. So you can turn the windmill so that you can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing flew off ages ago. I must have dropped it off the edge down beneath the clouds. Oh, great. How am I supposed to get that? The windmill's been useless sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Yeah, no joke. You want to know if, if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. All right, where is it? Probably in Farron. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Okay, so let me go, I guess, back to the bazaar. Because I, I thought I was going to have to go down there, but if it's just like getting a robot to do it for me, that will be perfect. Robots are great for things. Let's see. Hope I don't have to buy anything. Alright, so a robot, huh? It's this guy, right? The guy with the weird eyes? Yeah, he wants to talk now. There you go. Hey. hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. Huh? huh? I, it's, a, it's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what this means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right, I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the ex extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil to this guy. But I've never even heard of, much less seen any such thing. Take mine. Do I have one? Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Do I really have one? Ooh. So this is an ancient flower. I can feel some slick, oily stuff coming out of the stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. This is great news. I, <laughs> I thought I had to go on a big adventure. Ooh, there you go. And there he goes. Scrapper is up and running. Go get my thing. Thank you. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Alright. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? I'm not small. Whoa, I talked. Can you believe it? I guess it really did fix him. This kid gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him? Well, then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. 
Hey now, watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're gonna help him. Hmm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance. <laughs> Serving children is very low on my dad's priority. What about this spirit creature? Master Link, materials from the windmill have been have yielded a signal that you may search with your dousing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Oh, come on. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? Your name is... is... Fi? Should I call you Mistress Fi? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fi? I... I understand. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. She's talking, I guess, or communicating some way. Master. <laughs> Master and Mistress right here together. We now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. All right, that's great news. Master Short Pants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fi's thought waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fi to call me, and I will arrive with haste. All right. So how do you plan to recover all the stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Fine, or I could douse. Uh, but let's ask him. Let's see if I have enough money for the fortune teller. <laughs> Gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh, yes, these lovely round eyes can even see into the future. Allow me to tell your fortune, boy. No doubt these eyes. Do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose in your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally, I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge you one rupee. So do you want me to tell you your fortune? Do you dare discover what, what fate these eyes see? Only one rupee. Let's do it. Yes, I knew it. Haha, <laughs> what a treat. You are the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. Those even realize. So what information do you seek? Treasure is what I seek. Yes, treasure, huh? You, you wish for me to gaze into my crystal ball and foresee treasure. I must confess, I know little about treasure. Oh, well, I guess I can give it a shot. <laughs> Aha, I see many things. All is revealed. Yes, a towering forest, sandy dunes, a blazing mountain, monsters. There are sources of treasure that I foresee. Which source of treasure do you want to hear about? Dang, I don't know. Mountain? Smoldering and sulfurous, yes. I see a blazing mountain. There you will find lizard tails and something called Elden Ore. I see it now. Elden Ore can sometimes be found by digging in the ground. Yes, I see you digging your future lizard tails. I see you claiming this treasure by defeating horrifying lizard like creatures. Alright, Amber Relic, Dusk Relic, every region. Dusk Relic, some kind of trial. Goddess Plume, rarest of all treasures. Find one to be the luckiest man alive. Okay. So wait, good luck, young man. So wait, so wait, wait, let me, let's do another one. 10 rupees, sure. Please. Treasure again. Let's see, let's try the other area. Maybe it's in another area, I don't know. Uh, okay. We're done mount, let's do forest. Bird feathers, hornet larva. Bird feathers. Hornet larva, blue bird feather, amber relic, dusk relic, goddess plume. So wait, what am I doing? Okay, one, one more time, one more time. I. It's only ten rupees. I can find ten rupees easy. Treasure. I'll, then I'll do where to next. I was thinking this windmill would be a treasure, but maybe not. All right, let's do dunes. Tumbleweeds, ancient flower, dusk relic, goddess plume. Wow, okay, so we'll do where to next for the last thing. Where to next? Here we go. All is revealed. Ah, yes, you are searching for something. Allow me to gaze into your future. I see a propeller falling through a sea of clouds. It is discarded, left to the elements. 
I see a mountain of fire. I see a temple of, on this burning mountain. What you seek is just down the mountain from this temple. A burning mountain. Should such a truly, should such a thing truly exist? That's all I can see. So that that is where we go. So now we know. Now I don't have to douse for it. I mean, you know, uh, I still probably have to douse or maybe. But you know what I'm saying. I, all I have to do is go there, and then you know, a lot of a lot will be solved. So I guess what I want to do is do this uh, next thing. So let me go to bed and uh, help him out. Fledge. All right, guys. I have back here at night. And then let's give him the stamina potion. I hope he's still there. Is he not here? He's here. Good, good, good. I got your stamina potion, dude. All right, let's see. Is that a stamina potion? I don't suppose you let me have that. Would you take it? Really? Thank you. I owe you one. I hope I get some gratitude crystals for this. Ooh, yeah. I can feel my muscles perking back up already. It's just that at this rate, I don't know if I'll ever get strong and burly. Try your best. <laughs> Right? That's exactly what I need to do. No more whining. I need to just push myself. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon and I'll show you the new me. It'd be funny if he really was, like, super big. I don't know. Is, I didn't get any gratitude crystals, though. Now, is this the bathroom? Ooh. This is the bathroom. So I went to the wrong... I, the other way, other thing. Somebody, please, somebody help me. Okay, I don't. Hold my nose before I get locked. Oh, paper. Please, somebody bring me a paper. Bring me some paper. Any kind of paper at all. Where would I get paper? Hey, do you have any paper? You got any paper? Dude, I don't know where to get paper. I'll check the classroom. Whoa. Us. Paper. Maybe needs toilet paper. Is this a classroom? There's a paper up here. Dang. There's paper all around. This is paper. Where do I get paper? <laughs> I literally. I mean, I'm right here. Where do I get paper? Oh my gosh, dude. What? I literally don't know what to do. Groose isn't here yet, is he? I'll see if Groose is here. There's paper on the desk. Let's see if Groose is here. Hey, you guys got any paper? Who's this dude? What's up, dude? Hey, 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 I'm not afraid of Groose. His room is mine now. Yeah, dude, but does he have any paper? What was this? Sleep. Man, I don't know where to get paper. I wasn't ready for this. There's paper all over and it won't let me have it. It says any kind. There's paper right here. Colin Stritch. What's up, dorks? You got any paper? Oh, it's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Oh, he is looking at bugs. Okay. Bugs are amazing. Even more amazing than Groose in a lot of ways. Oh, wait, I'm not saying Groose is an, as amazing as a bug. Look, I just really like bugs. I want to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having, like, an entire island full of bugs. Ooh. How about this? Link, here's a plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. When it comes to bugs, rupees are no object. Sure. <laughs> wow, now my bug collecting ambitions will finally be realized. So if you ever want to sell any bugs, just bring them to me. I usually hang out here at night. So I, I won't just buy any bug, though. Why would I buy... Uh, what I buy on any given day just depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, one other thing. This might bug you a little bit, but I only want to do these deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, you know. <laughs> Got a link? I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs. So, let's go. Do, what, do you want to sell me something? Let's see. Tonight, I feel like buying Farron Grasshopper. Skylock Mantis. Let's see what he has. Farron Grasshopper. Which do you want to sell me? Dude, I don't know. Grasshopper, maybe? Forty rupees now. Two. Let's just sell. Sell one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One for forty. Doesn't seem like a great deal. <laughs> Thanks, Mantis Face. I mean, this is a, that that in a good way. 
Uh, okay, so... I don't know if that's worth it. Okay. I, okay, so this is... Who was, there's two people in that room, right? Colin and Stritch. And Colin was the other guy? Fledge. What's up, Fledge? The no, Fledge wasn't... Fledge was the guy. Yeah, I just saw Fledge. Are you done yet? No, he's still working, right? All right, come back soon to show you the new me. Uh, okay. I don't know where the paper is. Let me go up here. No. Okay. Instructor. Instructors have paper. Sup? Mm. He just wants to know about Zelda. Am I doing this right? Sometimes I feel like I need like a guide. This is Karain. Who's Karain? Oh wow, hi. Karain, what's up? What do you think you're doing in a girl's room at this time of night? <laughs> I need to take a bath, so get out of here, Link. I mean, I would take a bath if whoever is in there now would hurry up and get out. They've been in there, there for a long time. I don't know if I can get them out. This is confusing. Do you have paper? Hmm. I keep my distance from Mia at night. Okay. Dude. I guess I haven't really talked to these guys at night, but what the heck? Zelda. Well, let me see if I can go into her room. No, it's locked. Alright, so here's the plan. Oh, there's another gratitude crystal. Just hanging around. Interesting. Maybe I'll I'll go. Is this paper? Can I have this paper? It's a map. It has paper. It's made of paper. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna wake up. I I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Maybe I'll look at a guide or something because I I don't want to spend like a ton of time just going back and forth and making no progress. Will he tell me where he gets paper? Like where do you get? Where is this guy? Let's see if he mentions where to get the paper, because I don't know where to get paper. Paper. I don't have paper. And then next episode, we will uh, go through... That's Fledge. Colin and Stretch. Where the heck's my room again? Link. So, I'll do my best. I'll go to sleep, wake up. And then, you know, I'll, uh, until morning. I'll try to figure out what to do to finish this up next episode. And then, um, you know, Fledge might be looking pretty buff. I don't know if I can go into Fledge's room now and say, hey, what's up, dude? Let's see. It doesn't take long to go from day to night, you know, just a little tedious. Is he in his room or is he out and about? He's out and about. So... I don't know if he'll be ready, you know, like tomorrow night or whenever. Is there paper like in here? Oh, what, what's, he has a paper. Hmm, should I give it to her? Should I not give it to her? Whoa, Link, it's you. Don't sneak up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now and you're distracting me. Dilemma? What, you wanna hear about it? <laughs> Normally I would never ever tell someone like you, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might be just the person I need. You seem to be pretty good with the ladies. Uh, I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this. Link, I have a task for you. Let's see. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It's a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. All right, but, you know, who's it for? Huh? What's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? <laughs> Wait, what? There's someone in the restroom at night who wants paper? You fool, how dare you? This is no ordinary piece of paper. It's a letter, a very special one at that. 
I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like a, all right, fine, it's a love letter. And that is where it was why you will not, under any circumstances, ever allowed to be used as toilet paper. Do you hear me? So listen up. This person you must give it to is a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Kareen. <laughs> Kareen. You know what I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare, not even by a mistake, even think about giving it to the weirdo in the restroom. Swear it. I don't I don't promise anything. Here it is. I'm entrusting you uh, with this letter to you. So so don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? Okay, so I'm going to totally give him this. Uh... Can you believe this letter might actually contain heartfelt words from Colin? Take extra care that you don't end up using it as a scrap paper. I'm counting on you, Link. Get to it. Don't mess this up. Maybe I'll let you be my sidekick. So do I just go ahead and give him this... Uh... I don't know. I, I mean, maybe I should just... I don't know, man. Let's let's give it to Korean. I mean, I, I the I don't know. I, I kind of want to do right by him, you know. I don't. I if this were me really playing, I would never do that to someone. So let's kind of play it like that. So that means where's Korean? She uh, well, maybe I'll wait till night. Maybe maybe I go back to sleep. Maybe Fledge will be muscular or something. Maybe then I could give the letter to, to you know. Let, let's go. Let's try again. Until night. Let's try again. There we go. Let's see if he's buffy. Yeah, that'd be funny if he's like huge, he's stacked. Or maybe he'll be ready for some gratitude. Give me some gratitude crystals, I don't know. Are you done yet? No, he's still working on it. Okay, well, so he's not. Let's go to Karain's place, which I think is upstairs. That's my place. Let's give it. Let's give her the letter. All right. Find me sometime during the day. Oh, come on. All right, well, she's gonna make it hard on me, isn't she? So where is she in the daytime? Maybe I can find Fledge in the daytime too, I don't know. I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But we're getting this stuff done so that we can immediately go get the windmill tomorrow, like, or, you know, the next episode. No, don't sleep. No, I do want to sleep. Till morning. Where is Karain in the morning? All right, let me go run around and let's see if I can find her. I don't know where she is. Is she outside? Is she? She's probably not in her room. Oh, that, that is her. That's right. Sigh. Oh, Pippet. How can I get you to notice me? Ah, Link. Uh, what's the matter? Do you uh, need something? I wonder if you heard what I was just talking about. Give the letter. Here we go. A letter from me? Could it be from Pippet? Here you go. Oh, thank you. I'll just take that. It's not from Pippet. I wonder who it's from. Whoa. That's some really terrible handwriting. Anyway, never mind. Let's see what it says. Greetings. My love for you is wider than the horizon and deeper than the clouds. I would very much like it if you would go out with me. Your brave knight, Colin. Wow, this Colin guy, isn't he the one of Groose's flunkies? And this, this is love letter from that Colin kid, right? Oh boy. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to say, he really put his heart into it and everything. I don't know, maybe I should consider going out with Colin. <laughs> As if. I wonder what Pippet would think if he knew about this. Do I gotta go tell Pippet now? Do I gotta go tell Pippet? <laughs> okay, so I might as well just give it to the ghost. Oh, well, but she has the letter now. I told her. You gave the letter to Crane? Oh, no. What now? What do I do? Maybe I should just see what she thought of the letter. But this is so embarrassing. Okay, this is embarrassing. Is Pippet upstairs? I'm doing a lot of, like, fetch quest type things here. Pippet is up here. Pippet, don't you want to know about the letter? What's up, Link? 
Huh, Karen got a love letter. I see, that's interesting. Wow. Oh, what do you think she intends to do? Beats me. So you, you don't know? Well, that's going to bother me until I find out. Oh, I mean, it's not like there's anything going on between me and Karain, you know. We're just friends. So it's not my business who she goes out with. I don't have much to say about it. But you know, I do have a duty to make sure that everyone is living up to the high ideals of our night school, right? I mean, I, ideal love is unfettered and passionate. Anything less than that can't really be called love at all. You know what I mean? So I should just step in and make sure that she's found a true love that aspires to the highest ideals of our fine educational institution, right? And what about me? I, I have the right to experience an unfettered and passionate love too, don't I? You understand, don't you? Link, I'm not wrong about this, am I? You like her? Wh what? No! Don't be ridiculous, Link. I don't even understand how you could make such a wild accusation. Well, e either way. I don't suppose you're, you'll mind asking her what her decision is going to be, would you? I guess not. Let's go, let's go down there. I'm playing the mediator between this weird love triangle. So let's find out. What she's gonna do with the letter. Oh, wrong place. It's over on this side. Uh oh. <laughs> You're the one who sent the letter, right? Y yes. Tee, <laughs> it was a wonderful love letter, thank you. It, it wasn't that great. And uh, w what's your answer? My answer, ah, my answer. Oh, please, please go out with me. Hey! Wait! <laughs> Pippet's here. I think you should go out with me instead. I mean, I, I want to ask you out. Uh? What? Hey, hold on there. What, what are you trying to pull all of a sudden? Uh, I want to go out with Pippet. <laughs> ah, see that, you fool? I knew she would choose me. She's been checking out. Wait, wait a second. Wait, really? Truly, you choose you choose me? Yes, I'm so happy. Thank you. This can't be happening. I should have just given it to the ghost. <laughs> or what is I don't know if it's a ghost, but whatever is in there. Pip Link! When you told me about the letter, it was at that moment I finally realized I realized that I love her. I thought to myself, I can't let anyone else take her from me. If you hadn't told me, I might never have even noticed my own feelings for her. I'm so grateful. I don't know how I can ever thank you. With the gratitude, with the gratitude, I got five gratitude crystals. Nice. Uh, must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. So, I don't know. Is this enough to check in on that bat dude and get, like, a reward? Does he need ten? I don't know. But, hey, congrats, you two. Hee hee hee. Thanks, Link. Because of you, I have an amazing new boyfriend. But I feel kind of bad about Colin, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Link, thanks to you I found a wonderful girlfriend. Thank you so much. Alright, good job you two. Colin, dude. I am so sorry for how that played out for you. He is gone. Okay, well. Is he in uh, this Groose's room? Is he in Groose's room? This is Colin and Stretch. Let's see if he retired to this room and is bawling. Or maybe he's in Groose's room. He was in Groose's room last night. I kind of want to go visit the... I don't know if I can only visit the bat dude at night. I don't know how it works. Groose. Is he in... Is Colin in Groose's room? He is. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. It's over. It's all over. What do you want, Link? Have you come to laugh at me in my miserable state? Just leave me alone. All right. Well, can't see my reflection. It must be a vampire. See you guys next time uh, for some more Zelda Skyward Sword, and we'll uh, I'll talk to the bat dude, see if I can get any items. I will uh, just try to do whatever I can uh, to finish things up, and then go to the Elden area to get the windmill piece. Sounds good. Sounds good. I will definitely see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.